faffing around video. So, um, I always think calzone pizza is a little bit, a little bit of a disappointment. So, I, and I kind of thought, can we actually, instead of folding the pizza over, can we just uh, put another layer of dough on top? So it's kind of like a pizza pie. Um, there is such a thing as pizza pie, but I always imagine it's not particularly um, like a proper pie pie. It's normally just like a deep filled pizza. The ones that I've had, anyway. So I just kind of thought, uh, we'll just have a play around. Uh, so I've rolled out some dough. There's, there's about 250 grams with a dough for the bottom. There's going to be about 250 grams of dough for the top. So we've got some. I've got some things to use up as well. So it's kind of perfect opportunity. So I've I've rolled out half the dough and I put it on a bit of cardboard so we can slide it into the pizza pan. I normally cook the pizza at the top of the oven and have it uh, on the oven on full whack and the grill on as well so it kind of it caramelizes the top of the pizza so I don't think I'm going to do that today I think uh, we're going to cook it on a well, it's still on full whack uh, but just not have the grill on so it's a little bit of a experiment so standard things that I put on a pizza so we've got some homemade tomato sauce we have got I've cooked three onions. I'm going to put more. I'm going to put more filling in than usual because it can, it's going to be it's a pie. So it kind of wants more filling than just a pizza. Otherwise, it's just going to be dough with a bit of a little bit of filling. So we're going to go for three onions. They've just been cooked. So that's more onion than I would normally put. Hopefully, this is going to slide off the cardboard. If it doesn't, I'll be annoyed with myself. So that's that. And then we've got some bacon. I normally don't cook much dry cured bacon. I normally don't cook it. I normally let it go crispy on top of the pizza. Um, but I don't think that's a good idea today. I think we'll be best off. I, cook, I thought we'll cook it. We'll drain off some of the fat because we don't want it to be too fatty. So we'll do that. And then we've got some homemade wild garlic pesto. So we'll do a few. It needs using up. This is last year's. So it's done really well to last. 12 months in the fridge. So, a few dots of that around, spread it around a little bit. So, we've got like pockets of flavour. You don't kind of want that, uh, like, like a uniform flavour. You kind of want different bites, so I'll have more of the pesto in, and some will have less in, so they're like little bits of flavour bombs, just to make that kind of a little bit more interesting. And then I can't decide if I'm going to use. 200 grams or 400 grams of the cheap feta that seems to put in everything. So we'll start with the 100 and we'll see how we go. And I've got some last of the parmesan that needs using up as well. So but I think, uh, yeah, we'll probably go for two lots of feta, otherwise, it's a bit boring. We'll see how we go. And then I normally start cooking the pizza in the pan on the top of the stove. I made a video ages ago. Uh, are we going to put more? Yeah, let's risk it. Probably shouldn't actually. Probably shouldn't. Mm, no, well, no, no, let's go for it. Let's make it really cheesy. Let's make it really cheesy. It's going to melt anyway. It's probably going to make a mess of the pan. Just hope that it'll slide off the bit of cardboard that I've put the dough, the dough on. And then we'll get rid of those. And then, I'm not sure how much pounds on the walls, maybe 50 grams, something like that that one there so it's kind of like a calzone but we're not going to fold it over because everything is just do you really get in a calzone it's supposed to be a folded over pizza do you really get double the quantity of filling in the calzone or is it just a way of charging the same price for uh, uh, like half uh, half as much filling uh, that's kind of my thought anyway uh, with the calzone so that can go slightly out of the way Wash hands, and then we'll roll this bit of dough up to the top, and 
we'll see how we go. So, I have got another idea as I want to try as well. At some point with pizzas, but someone must have done that. There's no, there's no original ideas, is there? Everything's an idea, something else is there. Someone's always done ideas before you. Probably need a little bit more dough than this, in retrospect. But we'll see how we go. And I shouldn't be rolling it, I should be forming it with my hands. I know, but... Is that about enough? Mm. A little bit more. And we're going to cut a hole in it as well. So, we'll just get that back there. Yeah, so I don't want it to puff up like a calzone. I want it to uh, be more like a pop pie. And then we'll put a little bit of water on the outside. So it's not going to get a crust. We're going to stick the top to the bottom. So it is a little bit more like a pie. So Martha will change your finger while you're swimming. And the gym to back open. It's been a while. And then, so carefully, go on top, and then tuck around. So we'll get some kind of crust. Like this. Bit of like a full calzone instead of a half calzone. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's all just a bit of fun. And a way of using up the last of the dough and the last of the ingredients. Is that going to come off the. Yes, that's going to come off. Right, so. Job with this, seems we know that it's going to come off the bit of cardboard. And then, so I kind of want the, I don't want the base to buff up, I want it to fall into pizza. So we're going to put some holes in that will allow the steam to escape. See, it's quite thin. The steam will escape, and we'll see how we go. So Right, I don't want to burn the board, so I'll get the other chopping board out. So, the pan's been in the oven, the pan's been in the oven for about half an hour on full whack. So, um, I haven't got a pizza stone, so I just use a cast iron skillet. Oh, and even with the cloth. Prepared as always. Just need to move that tray. Get the cloth done properly. So, cast iron skillet, stinking hot, and I'm going to slide the pizza into it. We should get rid of that. Now we don't need to get rid of that carbon over there. So, do that, and then what I think I'm going to do, no, we'll put it straight in the oven. Uh, or maybe put it on top of the stove. We'll put it on top of the stove for a bit. Yeah, I'll put it on top of the stove for a bit. Uh, I'll put it on top of the stove, we'll move the camera, and then you can kind of see. Just pause there. Right, so we're on the gas jet, so, and the pan's directly on it, so like, that's the gas jet. So the pan's directly on it. The cook is dirty, I'm not going to apologise, uh, because I didn't have time to clean it. Um, so we'll give that a blast on top of the gas, on top of the stove, which will give it, the bottom, like a, a chance to like start cooking properly. It's already started to form. So that's going to be okay. So that'll be like a burst of heat from the bottom and then we'll get it in the oven um, for 10 minutes on, on, on full whack, I think. Maybe 10 or 15 minutes, and we'll see how it goes. But it should turn out all right. It should turn out all right. It's not gonna stick. No, it's not gonna stick, so it should be okay. So I'll pause, and then we'll come back when it's come out of the oven. But we'll see how it goes. Might work, might not. We've gone a little bit over. Kept my eye off it. And so I need to uh, get the butter get that out. I need to turn the oven off. 
and then we'll just be able to flip it out onto the board without be burning myself, without burning the board too much. That one's there, pan out the way. Nice and crispy, hasn't puffed up like a calzone. And I'm going to cut into it straight away. Yeah. It's going to be nice and melted, is this? Mm -hmm. Yes, we'll cut into it straight away. Ah, okay. <laughs> Probably would have been a better cheese than using the cheap um, feta. Probably would have been better with the mascarpone, but it's only an experiment. And that's how I'm going to uh, say about that. So we'll just get that gubbins off there and we'll just cut there I mean, it's going to be nice it's just going to look there's just too much of the feta cheese in it but still it's going to be nice isn't it it's going to be nice but it, uh, yeah it's it's just it's an experiment i can't eat it like that it'd just be too hot um but it works and we can do something with that in future we can do something with that in the future. Uh, maybe not as much cheese, not as much of the fed cheese in the future. Uh, so just half the amount of fed cheese or actually a uh, mozzarella and the um, parmesan, parmesan. Um, and that would probably be better. But as an experiment, that's okay. Just a little bit too crispy on top, but that's going to be nice. But anyway, so it's an experiment and there will be uh, more to come. Looks a bit like cottage cheese, doesn't it? Um, bordering on catsick. But anyway, um, it's all about how it tastes, isn't it? There we go. An experiment on a, a pizza dough made into a pie. Someone will have done it before. Uh, I won't be the only person who's ever done this. But there we go.